Anas ibn al-Kahir al-Asadi. On the day of Ashura, he was an elderly man. He was a companion of Rasulullah. Elderly to the point where he had to wear a headband just to lift his eyebrows up and see clearly. Imam Hussein came to him. As soon as he saw him, he cried. Imagine you see this elderly man who's dressed up like a soldier. He's in his 90s. Imam Hussein cried. He said to him, Ya Shaykh, why are you doing this to yourself? I relieve you of your pledge. You can leave, you can go. He said to him, Ya Aba Abdullah, how could I do that when I heard Rasulullah myself? Al-Bukhari mentions this hadith, by the way. He said, I heard Rasulullah one day, you were a toddler, you came and you sat in your grandfather's lap. Rasulullah looked at you and then he said, In Nabni Hadha, Yuqtalu fi ardin yuqalu laha Karbala. This son of mine is going to get killed one day in a land called Karbala. Faman shahida al mawqif al Whoever witnesses that, you should support him, you should help him. When he heard that hadith, he set out, obviously, after Rasulullah, after Amir al Mu'mineen, he then looked for the land called Karbala. He went there. It was a stretch of desert, desolate, nothing in it. He settled in Karbala. He set up camp. He put up a tent. He lived there for God knows how many years in anticipation of the day of Ashura. That's how you wait for the Imam, that's how you anticipate his return.